Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a very cool model to take a look at. This is actually a model from Brent's Art and Models, who has been creating some really cool stuff. I've been watching him progress on Instagram, and he not long ago released this absolutely beautiful looking interpretation of Big Al. Which, if you are not familiar with that, that is Al from the Walking with Dinosaurs series, the Allosaurus that they feature quite a bit in that series, even giving it its own individual documentary. And he went ahead and created a very cool looking inspired by that Allosaurus bust that we can see here. And uh, definitely something that I am a huge fan of because I love walking with dinosaurs. I've been very fond of that series since I was young, since I had initially seen it. So anything walking with dinosaurs is always an instant tug at my heartstrings. So I was really psyched to see this right here. And actually, on top of this bust being here for me to review, we actually got some other stuff from Brent. He actually sent a few extras over just, I guess, as a thank you for checking this out for him and uh, reviewing it for him here on the channel, which I was definitely excited about. Even if this stuff wasn't included, I 100% was, you know, excited about reviewing this here on the channel. This, I think, is actually a cast of a tooth done by him. I'm pretty sure. I think I saw that on his Instagram account at some point. And then he also sent this guy over, which I would imagine is, you know, a dinosaur that he had sculpted at some point. And I think he's absolutely awesome. You can see he's really small and uh, very almost old school like with the appearance to him and I definitely like him I actually wanted to get him painted up in time for this review but unfortunately I just haven't had much time to work on most things that I have to get painted so at some point I'll probably paint this little guy and give him a really old school vintage type of a look he's pretty awesome I'll definitely say that so a huge thank you goes out to Brent for not only this awesome bust but of course all of this extra stuff that he had sent over but anyway, again, a really nice looking Allosaurus bust, so let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look right now. So I feel like Brent has done a really good job on this bust, because as far as like the overall appearance of Big Al from that series, I feel like he captured it really nicely. You can definitely tell that he spent a lot of time kind of studying images of Big Al, so he can try to get this as accurate as possible, and I feel like he definitely pulled it off quite nicely. But as far as our bust, again, you can see the nostrils are nicely sculpted out right there. You can also see some very nice looking skin texture throughout the course of the model. Definitely has done a very good job as far as really making all of the scale detail pop throughout the course of this Allosaurus. You can see the crest right here really nicely sculpted out up there. Again, the eye itself and the detail around the eye also looks really quite nice. Very nice detailing here within the palette. And you can see the scale detail also looks really good down here. And the way that he sculpted this out as far as the scale detail goes allows you to apply a nice dark wash that can kind of creep in and out of all of the scales and really help the detail pop even more so than the already quite vibrant detail that is present on the model. You can see the mouth is open slightly, but it's not open too far. However, you can see the tongue in there if you can get a good angle of it. It's a little tough to really get in there because the mouth is so small. But you can also see that we have the teeth sculpted out quite nicely in there. And if we turn the Allosaurus bust around, you can see the same thing over here. Again, really quite nicely done as far as the appearance to the teeth. And as you move back here into the neck region of the Allosaurus, again, the texturing continues to look really nice. We have lots of creasing and stuff going on as we move back into the neck region. You can also see that the detail here on the upper side of the head also looks quite beautiful. Again, that scale detail is really nice, like it really pops on the sculpt. Then you can see the spinal column pick up right here. I would have really liked to have seen a full bodied version of this from him because I feel like he's done a great job as far as this one goes on this small bust, but he definitely has the potential to create the most screen accurate Allosaurus as far as a big owl goes uh, that I think I've seen because this you know particular bust is really well done as far as that goes definitely would like to see a full bodied version from him but you can also see some more really nice detailing here on the underside of the throat as we lead from the lower jaw down here into the throat you can particularly pick out the throat itself but also like a lot of skin wrinkles and stuff throughout the paintwork of course was done by me these are you know unpainted kits when you get them and uh, you just have to paint it up yourself and it's honestly half the fun of getting models like this is to go ahead and paint it up yourself and give yourself something to be proud of when it comes to a model that you have finished yourself. So a really, really beautiful 
Allosaurus bust and then we also have the base and the base is pretty cool because it kind of replicates the terrain that the Diplodocus are walking on if you can recall the scene from Walking with Dinosaurs where Big Al actually not just Big Al quite a few Allosaurus are kind of running and chasing down some Diplodocus and kind of like a dried up sand bed area and uh, that's pretty much exactly what he was going for as far as replicating that here on this bust and I think he has captured that also quite nicely but you'll also notice some pieces of like a carcass here as those pieces of the carcass are meant to represent a deceased Diplodocus and you can see that the you know gory areas and stuff are actually really quite nicely done you have a piece of the Diplodocus over here which you can see kind of like a little area of the skin texture here in the back but you also have again some more pieces over here so you have a little bit of that Diplodocus spread throughout just giving this not only a nice element of realism but a little bit of a grotesque look at the same time and I'm always okay with that I love when companies will produce dinosaur models that have like you know deceased dinosaurs and stuff on the base or in the case of like Rebor specifically just a deceased dinosaur it's really fun and uh, I absolutely love that Brent has done that here with his bust and again the entire thing just kind of blends together to create a really cool overall bust and I honestly don't know that I've ever seen anybody take this approach to a bust with this stand how it kind of like leads up here and you could just set the bust on it and I think that's really neat because it just allows it to have a little bit of a unique look to it something that's different and anytime something's different and fresh I'm always a big fan of that so the bust is honestly absolutely beautiful but the base I think is almost as beautiful as the Allosaurus bust itself and once the two are combined it is a really beautiful looking walking with dinosaurs inspired Allosaurus bust just a really nice work of art on his part now to apply the Allosaurus bust to the base you can actually go either direction it actually sits really nicely no matter which way you go I usually have it like this and I feel like this is actually the way that it's meant to sit on the base here but you can apply it any way you would like that's really up to you and once you can put it on there and take a look at it you know as we turn it here you can see how incredibly cool it looks definitely a really nice base and a really nice bust but it's also a really convenient size so to show you that for a length on our Allosaurus bust, you are looking at a little over 5 inches or closing in on 13 centimeters, very close to 13 centimeters. And for a height, you are going to see it at about the just shy of 4 inches or 10 centimeter area. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Brent's art and models allosaurus bust and you can definitely see again what i was saying how it's not huge it's not small it's honestly a perfect size really nice size if you have like a desk or something you would like a really cool model displayed on that's pretty much the perfect size bust that you would like for that type of a display but honestly it works great no matter which route you're going to take displaying it and you can hopefully get a good idea of the size in comparison to these models right here so this Brent's art and models Allosaurus walking with dinosaurs I should say Allosaurus bust is really beautifully done definitely a very nice sculpt overall and it was a joy to paint this and give it some life because of course when you receive the model it is unpainted you have to paint it yourself but once you apply even a slight bit of paint application it just starts to come to life and you get to watch the entire process of course as you're doing it bringing the dinosaur to life and when you're finished you basically can just sit back look at it and be proud of what you did you know Brent obviously created the sculpt but you took part in it as well by painting the model and uh, bringing it to life in that way but of course Brent has done a fantastic job on the sculpt you could see throughout really nice detailing he hasn't missed anything that I can pick up on as far as what the Allosaurus looks like in that documentary and he has captured pretty much every element of that Allosaurus beautifully and perfectly in the sculpt of the bust that we have here the paintwork again like I had stated a few times was done by me and I was pretty happy with it I feel like it turned out pretty nicely overall and really helps to further show how screen accurate the bust truly is it really does look like Big Al and he has done a fantastic job honestly as far as the overall appearance to this bust goes in comparison to Big Al from the documentary and then we have the really cool base underneath again I like the idea that he had come up with to kind of create that sandy terrain to make it similar to what the Allosaurus were 
chasing down the Diplodocus on in the Walking with Dinosaurs series of Big Al, and he has captured that really nicely as well. And then, of course, littering that area with pieces of the Diplodocus was just a genius move because it really shows off, again, the fierce side of Big Al and a very realistic side of what it would have been like back there when uh, Allosaurus was alive, you know? Showing off the deceased remains of his lunch is definitely something that I feel like was a really good idea on his part because it makes the base a little bit flashier, you know, it just kind of creates a little more of an interesting look for the base rather than it just being that kind of sandy area. You kind of spice it up with some pieces of a deceased dinosaur and then everything just ties together so beautifully and looks awesome. Once fully painted, put together, and you know, you have it sitting here before you, it just looks so cool. So if you are interested in picking this up, I will include a link in the description to where you can contact Brent on Instagram, or you can contact me, and I will contact him for you to help you place an order for this really nice Walking with Dinosaurs inspired Allosaurus bust. So make sure you check the link in the description, or again, contact me, pick up one of these really cool busts, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.